Welcome to My South Africa. Here we talk about all things related to business and entrepreneurship using examples and illustrations that are easy to follow. The valuation of spaza shops in South Africa keeps increasing on a yearly basis. The whole spaza shop market is currently worth over 40 billion rands as of 2022. This video will discuss how to start a spaza shop with no previous experience in South Africa. I have practical experience of starting and running a spaza shop. Studying a spaza shop is not one of the most difficult things. It can be done by anyone. It does not require education besides basic literacy and math. The purpose of studying a spaza shop is to sell products to your local community. What will you need? You first need to decide on where you will run your spaza shop from. Most foreigners in South Africa invest in building tax shops or buying containers for their spaza shops. But for someone who does not have a huge budget, this can be difficult. In most rural areas of South Africa, people open spaza shops right from their homes. This is easier to do in rural areas than it is in townships. After finding your operating premises, you will need capital for the first batch of your stock. I started my spaza shop with only 1000 rands, specializing in vors, chicken and cold drinks. But you may need to start with way more than that, especially if you are in a busy area. You need to be careful of where you stock your goods. Try to stock at wholesalers who sell them at a cheaper price so that you will be able to set competitive prices. It will be hard for you to set competitive prices if you buy your products from retail stores like ShopRite and Pick and Pay. You need transportation. I did not know the importance of a reliable transport when studying a spaza shop. Transport is needed for buying products that are out of stock quickly. You may find that most of your products are in stock and a few are out of stock. You will need to replace them quickly. If not, you will run the risk of customers going to your competitors. Spaza shop suppliers. It is very important to have about three reliable suppliers. Suppliers differ from place to place. The best way to find them in your area is to do a little research. Wholesalers are your best bet. How much can a spaza shop make in a day? The honest answer is, it depends. However, I used to make around 1,500 rands per day when I was running my spaza shop. But that's not the profit. A spaza shop in a very busy area can be able to make around 1,000 rands to 5,000 rands on a daily basis. This depends on the items it sells and the demand. Studying a spaza shop is a fun and exciting adventure. Get started today. This video is a guide on how to start a spaza shop. Do you have any thoughts or questions? Leave them in the comment box below.